Right, I've got to be a bit furtive here. The last time I walked this track, I was thrown off by a gamekeeper. Uh, it's a path I've used for years. It's an old miners track. And I'm heading for a quarry where there's an underground uh, system of tunnels. Yeah, that's, that's where we're heading. Not far now, but just got to get up to the, the tree line, the fence line, and I'm safe. But, uh, yeah, it's a nice day for it, although there's cloud and showers are forecast, so let's see how it goes. Yeah, looks like I made it to the fence line. So far, so good. Uh, it's terrible, isn't it? I hate this sort of stealth walking. This sort of subterfuge. We really should have the right to roam everywhere we want. As long as we're not causing any damage or we're responsible. <sighs> It's uh, it's a bit archaic in 2019, isn't it? We haven't got the freedom to roam, the right to roam. Anyway, I'll catch you later. Oh, it's warm. It's warm now. It's quite cool when I left the house, but that's why I put a gilet on, but I think the gilet is coming off soon. Shut it, Fergus. Don't draw attention to ourselves. <laughs> I said the other week in the video, it's impossible to be uh, stealthy with Fergus. Oh, I'll tell you what, it's steep. You start off in the valley, and uh, you're going uphill all the way. There's no no respite. Oh. Reaching the quarry now. Oh. Not too far to go. And then we're dropping down, down into the depths, the bowels of the earth. Warm work, isn't it, Fergie? <laughs> old bogey down there. This will be the old, some of the old workshops. <sighs> sure sign this fox is around. <laughs> he won't stop rolling. <laughs> there it is. This is a, a very impressive pit. Or a uh, Mauer, as they say in Welsh. Tulth Mauer, just being big hole basically. So this is one Tulth Mauer. Not a bad wild camping spot here. Hey, hey, hey. Anybody here? That's where we're going over there. Big hole over there.
That's a lot of arsing around with the the parrot. Hang on. The Anafi's been a bloody pain lately. Firmware updates and losing picture. So um, I've set up with a light. I've got me uh, expensive um, head torch, which on turbo is supposed to be twice as powerful as a car headlight. So um, let's see how it goes. Come on, guys. Let's hope this light doesn't fall off. I've had that happen before. Will he go in? He wouldn't come in last time. Came here. Vote Labour. Oh, Jeremy's been here. Slippy. Oh, try not to fall. It's difficult to do it one hand. Oh, don't got it. Dog nearly knocked me off my feet. Uh, the light will just be swallowed up in this. It won't be not worth putting it on. I don't know what this will come out like. Hi guys. Remember, you came here when you were about two. Right, put the lights on. Come on, boy. Greasy. Good lad. This one, it's not very bright. Oh, it's coming in this time. Hmm. I've been down here before, but <laughs> it's a long time. Uh, You're a brave dog, aren't you? Let's put this slice on turbo. No, it doesn't come on at all. I think that's it. Yeah, these lights. Uh, I feel the cold now, a solo or something. They're about uh, they're about 60 quid <laughs> for a head torch. I've never played that for a head torch before. <laughs> You're a good lad, didn't think you'd come down. Hello. Echo. Oh. Spooky. Spooky tooth. Those of a certain age will know what I'm talking about. Wow. <laughs> it's funny. Oh shit, that's a slate. Oh, water. You have a drink. Whoa, it's me. This was, uh, where we go? These galleries, uh, this is a small mine compared to some. Some of the, uh, there's one mine in Better Sequoia, not Better Sequoia, the land of the New York area. It's got 100 miles of tunnels. There's the spoil. I don't know how this is coming out on this Sony. The light, limited light. Oh 
bad tunnels everywhere. What's this? Is that water? Mm. Well, it goes that way. You come in, Fergus. Come on. Come on. Come on, Gus. Follow me. You stay close to me. This is uh, the scale. I mean, it's too vast. The lice has just been swallowed up in the in the gloom. I don't know if you can see me. Can you see me? <laughs> That's bright, that light. Let's guess see. Hi, Gus. Come on, boy. <laughs> Good lad. I'm not... Uh, Going all over the place. Oh, God. <clears throat> Some of these mines you need uh, ropes. There's a fantastic through trip. Uh, there's a few actually. Come on, then. There's one. And uh, neighbouring Moyle Verna, near here, is another. Uh, I think we're not the first. Uh, I, uh, ah, dude. Yeah, fair. Oh, fucking hell, what's the dog? There goes. Jesus. Jesse. Where the hell's he gone? There you are. Come on. Oh, he's right behind me. Come on, boy. Come on. Gus, come on. You can see. Oh God, he's just fallen. Now he's arrived. Can't even want to get reported to the RSPCA or the Springer Rescue, where he's from. <laughs> come on, boy. Vegas, come on. Come on. Good lad. I just want to see down here. We're not going to explore the whole lot. Come on. Come on, guys. Come on. Ah. Tunnels everywhere. Yeah, I used to do a lot of underground exploration of these mines. North Wales is absolutely littered with abandoned underground quarry mines. And uh, this is obviously the bed of a track. Rail tr oh God, what was that? Rail track. Uh, I'm not going to go much further. There is plenty of uh, potential for exploring further. Jesus, there's tunnels coming off everywhere. It's just so enticing. <laughs> See, they're all coded. Some of these mines are being uh, closed up and you need permission from sort of uh, some organisation. They're putting, they're putting gates across and you need uh, to get permission. Well, I'm uh, totally against that, I think. I think these mines should be open to everyone. What's that? That's a pond, is it? Underground. Oh, I've got to lost the dog again. Oh, Gussie, why don't you follow me? I think I'll still go out now. I'm a bit worried about losing the dog. There you are. What's up with you? like it's still recording. <sighs> yeah, there's a lot more to explore, but I'm not doing much more. As I say, he's <laughs> a bit worried about him. It'd be terrible. Imagine losing the dog in the labyrinth of tunnels. 
I never forgive myself. Uh, looks interesting. All right, come on, we didn't come that way. Come on, go see. Come on, deaf lugs. Hey! Come on. This is, yeah, this is where we're getting down, I'm sure. Bloody hell. <laughs> you know, you... It makes you think. It looks... There's so many of these spoil heaps and tunnels and galleries and they all look... They look the same. And, uh, if you weren't experienced and you just came down, you might be able to find, oh God. Oh, is this the one? You might uh, start to panic, especially if you didn't bring a spare torch. Is it? I don't think this is, you know. dog. Come on. Starting to get a bit confused now. a bit disconcerting. <laughs> Shoot. Exit. Ah. Well, that's a relief. <sighs> Bloody hell. <laughs> we came up a different way. I, it, uh, even though I've been down here before, it was years ago. Fergus, come on. And um, yeah, not quite panic stations, but I'm starting to get a bit uh, a bit concerned. Come on, guys. Oh, good lad. Put the lights up. Bloody hell. Nice to be out in the fresh air. It's raining now. Just sheltering at the entrance. Um, stick throwing again. Oh yeah, the sun. <laughs> yeah, it's typical uh, April showers in May. Rain, and then the uh, sun comes out. So yeah, I'm hoping this um, 
I'm hoping the footage comes out okay in, in the mine. It's, uh, <laughs> the lights, uh, even though I've got a pretty good video light and I've got a pretty powerful head torch, um, it gets swallowed up in that cavernous gloom. So I don't know what you what you'll you'll see, but it might at least give you the impression of these huge underground mines. And we only explored a part of it there. Oh, there's a pied wagtail. Hello. There he goes. This is nice and quiet here. It is a nice place. It is a nice place for a wild camp. It's uh, nice and flat terraces, grassy terraces over there. Yeah, perhaps come here one night.